Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, and Twitter. It's the Madeline and Mommy Show. It's time for the Madeline and Mommy Show. Here we are, Madeline and Mommy Show. And we have special guests with us here today. We've got Thaddeus. And Emily. Who's a model and an actor. And he's here from Lakeland, Florida. And, and we Emily. have Emily Shea. She's my cousin. That's Madeline's cousin, and she's also a little actress and an upcoming model. And then we have Mommy here, and we are about to do... The Sour Patch Kids. Sour Patch Kids Exploders. I don't know what these are going to taste like, <laughs> but go ahead and grab one. These guys are always trying to feed me sour candy all the time. Go ahead. You said you liked them? Oh yeah. We eat them all the time. Too. Eat them all the time. Okay. I'm going to take, I'll take a red one because it looks like it might be kind of yummy. And it has some kind of juicy stuff inside of it. Have you had these, Emily? Never. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, go. That's good. Oh, gross. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's so sour. <laughs> oh, mm. Mm. <laughs> Oh, this guy's laughing, this too. <laughs> Maybe it was just the flavor. You want to try another one? I had red. I'll take another one. Uh, the after flavor is better than Wait, the like first candy. initial flavor. <laughs> Usually it's the after flavor that's so bad on sour candy. Okay, I'm going to try a purple one this time. Here we go. Ready, set, go. It gets better as time goes on, though. Yeah. Purple. How do you like it? I'm not that bad. It's pretty good. Yeah? Is her face all smiling when she eats it? Ha <laughs> ha Okay, you go pick one out, whichever one you haven't had yet. These two are the only ones that are, like, immune to the sour candy stuff. You got a green one, too? Yeah, that's the one I haven't tried yet. I have I a green one. What flavor is it, since you know these? Well, I guess sour apple. apple. Yeah, something like that. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Oh. Oh. That would work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Oh, <God. laughs> All right, well, if you like sour candy, hmm. We have little ones to buy. They're good. Okay. Oh, we got fan mail. Today's fan mail came to Madeline from Sarah Mae Villa. Woo! Go ahead and open it up, sweetie. So let's open it up. Yeah. What's inside? Oh, they're little pants. Oh, look, let me show everybody. She got a cute card from Sarah. And Thank I'll you, Sarah. It. it was very thoughtful of you, honey. And she sent her some headbands to go with it. So you are it says, what American. you did meant a lot, Madeline. Thanks so You're much. Mad. You are amazing. amazing. God yes. bless for letting me be on your show. Love but Sarah, Sarah May, your friend always. always. Oh, isn't that the sweetest thing ever? Thank you, Sarah May. We love you too, honey. Hello, my name is Sarah May Villa. I'm 13 years old, and I'm from the state of Missouri. The show me stay. Today I'm going to talk to you about something very deep in my heart, which is bullying. It can be any type of bullying in general. Cyberbullying, bullying, any type. Thousands of kids around the world each day are bullied. Thousands of kids around the world each year commit self-harm or suicide because they don't know where to go. I'm going to tell you a big bonus point. Document everything. It will help you so much in the future and right now. Another thing, I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and my experience of bullying. I have been held down on the bus floor with dirty, muddy bounty towels rubbed in my eyes and in my face. I have had full bottles of 7 up poured over my head and hit on, spit on, sexually harassed. I can go on for hours. They bit my fingers back all the way to the back and they thought they were broke. I'm going to tell you, you may think there's nowhere to go, but there is. Always tell on them. Always tell an adult, like I said. Another thing, after you do that and you don't know where else to go, go to God. God will always be there for you, no matter what happens. He died. Hi, 
My name is Madeline Patrick. I'm six year old and I'm from Wesley Chapel, Florida. I'm here today to tell you my bullying story. One day I was on the bus, these two kids were sitting in one seat and I told them that I was a model and an actress and they didn't believe me. They called me a liar. Then my friend Daniel stuck up for me and he said no and they still didn't believe me. They called me a liar again. The next day I bring a magazine with me on the cover and they said, no, nah, that's not you. And I showed them closer and they said, oh yeah, that's you. And I gave him some of my cards. Cool. And so now ever since then, have they bothered you at all? No. Good. And you, you would tell somebody if anybody tried to bully you again, right? Yes. Okay, sweetheart. Thank you. Thanks. My name is Thaddeus Ignacio. I am from Lakeland, Florida, which if you do not know, is in between Tampa and Orlando, which is really an easy spot to get to from any place for a project. And one of my most recent projects was Nuts the Movie. I was just one of the protesters against the brothers because they had some pretty stinky perfume. And I'm here to tell my story about bullying. When I was younger, I used to get bullied a lot more because of my small size and everything else. but. The only real reason why I got bullied, I think, is because people were really just jealous of me. They figured out that I started acting and stuff, and they really just wanted to do the same thing that I was doing. But I don't know why. They One of these bigger boys in 8th grade grabbed me around my body and threw me to the ground and scraped my elbow pretty bad. For what? I have no idea. Did you go to teacher or principal? I went to the dean of students and he said that he would get him expelled the day after spring break. What grade are you in? I am in eighth grade. And so what happened the day after spring break? The day after spring break, the boy was called into the office and he was suspended for five days. Okay, and then, so at least he was disciplined. Then have you seen the boy? I have seen the boy a few times in the hallway, but he has not really said anything to me. Okay, good. So he's leaving you alone and the point was well made. Yes, ma'am. Perfect. I hope you continue to have a great time for the rest of your school year. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Thaddeus. Hi, my name is Emily Shea. I am from Musley Chapel, Florida. My recent project was The Music Man, a school play. I have never personally been bullied, but I have taken a few hits in my life. I'm in high school right now and some of the kids in my school aren't that nice. They say that I'm not the smartest. I may not ever get into college with the grades I have right now. I'll tell you about a story about my friend. My friend is an upcoming singer, and he's a really good singer. But one of his close friends, they were really jealous of him, and they started picking on him, saying that his music was bad, it was auto-tuned. But I know personally it wasn't, because he's a really good singer. And some of the kids online, they're really not nice to him either. They bully him, they say that he'll never make it, and kids at school say the same thing. But I know that's not true. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell your friend not to take anything personal, that those kids are just jealous. They really are. And to continue with his talents, you know? He should. He's a that's, really good singer. That's great. Thanks, Emily. Okay, thank you. I hope you all get a great message out of this today and share the word. Stop bullying. Thousands of kids, thousands all over the world are getting bullied. And we need to help stop it. Make sure you share this video. And God bless Sarah Mae. Bye. Hi, guys. Hi. Today we're doing Hello Kitty tattoos. So me and my cousin Emily are starring on this. She's a guest on us. I'm so happy to be here today. Awesome. Well, why don't we get started, girls? Let's get started. Open up. There's a couple different things going on there, right? It's body art and tattoos, isn't it? Nice. And um, what's the first thing you're going to do? We're just going to peel off the sticky stuff. I already did that. Hi, guys. So we're back, and we're going to do our tattoos now. Cool. So I'm going to do Emily first. Emily, let me see your tattoo. This is her little tattoo right here. 
cute. And now I'm gonna do it wherever she wants to. It's up to you where you wanna put it. Just put it on the hand? I'll put it on your hand. That's a good spot usually. Yep. So she's been coloring away, and what do we got? We Flip got your hand over, Emily, so we can see. Oh, you that's cute. Very nice. Very cute. So you, what do you suggest these for, like birthday parties? Make a lot of fun activities, right, for birthday parties? Or for a birthday party? Yeah, I would use it for a birthday party. This episode is dedicated to anybody that has ever been bullied in their life. I know it is no fun. And the bullying statistics right now are ever-changing. So um, schools are trying to tackle the problems head on and the kids are getting involved. They're trying to step forward more and much remains to be done. But um, honestly, the effects of the bullying on the victims are long lasting and the bullying themselves, they will go on to continue uh, you know, bad behavior and becoming a detriment to themselves as well as society. Try to take care of one another and thank you for joining us on the Madeline and Mommy Show. Thank you for joining us on the Madeline Mommy Show. We really enjoyed having you. We love all of our fans on Facebook. Check us out on our YouTube channel. We need 500 likes. Also, if you want to send us any fan mail or birthday cards, send it to madmommyshow2015 at gmail.com. Thank you all for your support.